If you're going to dig into turkey this Thanksgiving, there's a good chance your bird was raised in Minnesota. Uh, this 30 pounder was raised near Melrose. Governor Mark Dayton welcomed it to his press room this morning. For the past 13 years, Minnesota is number one in turkey producing and processing, followed by North Carolina and Arkansas. So, why are we such a turkey state? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. My family, it's all who makes the best turkey. Sometimes we like to make a brine turkey. My favorite thing is the dressing. Will it be a Minnesota turkey? Well, the 18% chance of that. He's right. Minnesota produces 18% of all turkeys in the U.S., and nowhere else is even close. How did Minnesota become the turkey state? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Steve Olson has talked about this with the greatest turkey minds in the state. I get asked that often about this time of year. We are a bunch of turkeys, that's for sure. <laughs> there are you know, second, third, fourth, even sixth generation turkey farms on, in the state of Minnesota. So that's one significance. And that means that they've been through those business cycles. They know there's good times. They put money a way to make it through the through the bad times mm -hmm. and they're pretty business savvy too. We also grow a lot of corn and soybeans here which is more than half the cost of raising a bird. Being that close to the, the feed source we don't have to pay for the shipping of the transportation that some other parts of the country do. Some smart local entrepreneurs saw this opportunity early on. But it started with guys like Earl B. Olson. Father to Jenny of Jenny O. He started to raise birds. He had um, a processing plant and he wanted to increase his, his processing capacity mm -hmm. so he ended up going out and talking to farmers and talking them into raising turkeys. I, I grew up down there in that southwest Minnesota so yeah there's a bunch of turkey farms down there. And then he, he had a counterpart in uh, in Wisconsin, Wally Jerome. Both companies would eventually merge into the Genio Turkey Store, the second largest turkey producer in the country. I love Minnesota. It's great. <laughs> One more reason to live here. all of its help and its research they say that they've given them all kinds of guidance on everything from feed to mm -hmm. disease for these turkey farmers I mean you know with the avian flu they were instrumental in really yeah. helping them out and getting the production back up and running. Yeah and that, that's the you you're talking about. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Good for them. Mm -hmm. all, right. all right. Thank you. Heather. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Heather. Yes. Thank you. Well if you have a good question for Heather please email it by going to wcco.com links.